Hey guys, and today we're talking about this little orange guy, and it's not Qbert or Charizard or Ernie. It's the new Runcam 5 4K edition. Now, I'm a little bit late to the party on this one. Uh, I don't know why I seem to get review copies of everything last. Uh, but, I, you know, as long as they come at all, uh, I mean, you know, that's cool. Uh, so, is this a replacement for the tried and true Runcam Session 5? And that is, oh, see, I can't even get the names right. GoPro Session 5, right? Uh, is it a replacement? Golly, I mean, Runcam copied the size, but they actually changed quite a bit relating to the shape. And there's a few little different ways that they function. We'll show you the close-ups on the bench, but the real thing that we want to know is, can you replace this with this? And golly, after adding 4K uh, onto this, and I'm really, really appreciating this extremely bright highlighter, retina scorching orange color on here, because as we all know, sooner or later when you're flying at PV, you take a tumble and your GoPro gets launched, and then you spend the next 30 minutes to an hour looking for this tiny little black thing in a giant field full of dark grass and dirt. Ugh. This, you'll probably see it from like two miles away and go straight for it. So that does actually eliminate one of the common issues we have in FPV. Now this is not waterproof. The speaker on this thing is pretty much close to garbage. But Okay, here we're gonna do a test of this run cam. Uh, what is this thing? The run cam orange. Is this the box? No, fuck, this is the box. What the hell is this? Run cam 5. It's the orange one. I like that it's orange, so if it falls out of your mouth, um, you'll find it in the grass a little bit easier than a black GoPro. So let's see how this goes. But nobody cares because. There's no microphone on earth that is going to record decent audio when you have it smack dab in the middle of four whirling dervishes on each of the four corners surrounding it. So that point is basically moot. Uh, but the, <laughs> the mic on this thing is so terrible that it might as well be mute, not moot. Uh, Again, it's not waterproof. I feel like it's a little bit weaker. It's not easy to swap out this front plate like it is on the GoPro, but let's be honest. Given the choice, you're all gonna wanna have one of these, but they're getting rarer and rarer and rarer. Few and far between are the sales on Amazon. I'll put a link to where you can get one. I think the going price is now up to $140 and it keeps rising every other week. This is coming hard and fast, closer to a hundo. And is it as good? Is it as good? I mean, I can't tell, man. It's like, it's getting so close that I feel like, I feel like I still think the GoPro might be slightly better, but is that just because I know which one the GoPro is? So I'm gonna show you guys a couple of clips and I'll put the first 20 seconds of each clip without um, telling you which is which. And identical to the previous version from the outside again using the USB micro and you can tell right away that this is exposed so this camera will not be waterproof um, it does have the same sort of a soft um, touch plastic it's not as soft as the actual rubber 
covering on the session five. Now, what are some things that you can tell right away? Well, we can tell that the lens size is slightly different. This, of course, is very easy to take off. This, not so much. I'm not sure if it's even possible. There's no screen on this one to speak of. While well, there is here, there is two buttons, a settings button and an actual record button on the GoPro. And on the run cam, there is only the one button that does everything. That turns it on. Uh, and then you hit this one time to record. And there's a few options on there that you can manipulate if you'd rather have a different auto power on record sequence. In the box is foam and a little couple of straps, a couple of straps. Actually, I didn't realize this was in there because I never looked. Um, I thought it was just some useless instructions. They have omitted that. And these are actually quite nice straps. So I will be using these. Thank you, Runcam. Um, let's get all this garbage out of the way. Uh, you can see that it is exactly the same form factor as this. So if I put this in my Team Black Sheep Source 1 budget build, fits perfectly. Everything is still exposed. I actually really like the coloring on this thing, uh, as I mentioned. And then, of course, to get to the SD card, it's this little door that slides this way, and then you push, get it out. That's pretty much it. So I'll go ahead. And for uh, so for a standard GoPro Session 5 window, you can still see the light and the button on a long press to power it off. Now, how do you get to the settings? Well, it works pretty much the same as the last one. There is an app. You make all the settings on the app. You turn it on, you hit this twice. That'll put it on settings mode and it'll generate a QR code best on your setting selections. You point this at it, it'll beep a couple more times and then you know it's registered your settings. So that's how you do settings on this thing. It actually works pretty well. I had a few issues with it getting to work right initially. I think it may just be the battery wasn't charged. Maybe I was in too much of a rush. Uh, so I let the battery charge a few more hours and then it worked. Uh, but before that, I tried it like 10 times. It wouldn't work. I guess the battery was just too low. You make the call on which one you think is better. My main thing though is that these are finally close enough to where I've had two of these Session 5s for ever and i've been holding on to them with a death grip because i couldn't bear to be without another one because how am i going to get another one how am i going to get another one how am i going to get another one they're so hard to come by but now we have this even if it's not 100 percent as good is it 90 percent as good is it 85 percent as good i mean you can go pixel peeping with these things and try to figure out which one is better but which one really is better? I don't know. It's so hard to tell. Uh, and that's why I finally sold my spare. Because now that we have something that is close enough, I feel confident that if I want to get some HD footage and something happens to this, I can switch to this as a backup and it will work and it will be fine, and the footage will at least be reasonably well. Because let's face it, guys, if you're flying either one of these, you're not flying the best camera in the game. We all know that as a GoPro Hero Session, or no, we all know that as a GoPro Hero 7 Black or the 8 Black. And if you're flying anything other than that uh, as an action camera, it's not the best. So this is already a compromise because of the better weight size and less screens to crash and lower price point. So this is a half step, maybe a little bit of a compromise, but it is good enough. Um, so feel free to buy it. And finally, at least because of the color, you actually get a couple of advantages going with this if you can't find any more of these. Thanks guys.